Hi friends, this is Trish with Fun Do's and I am back with a very short video. Um, I wanted to show you all how I wash my wigs and um, it should be really short. Um, this is the one I'm going to play with and actually I have already washed her. Um, yes, this is a foam roller that I use for my wig stands at times. Um, but this is Kelsey by Envy in the color uh, Toasted Sesame. And I wore her, it's a short style. I've done a review on her. Um, I will link the video below. Um, but I wore her basically all summer. Love her. Perfect style for me. And she was looking a little bit nappy. So I uh, had to wash her and get her ready for the summer. So what I did is you will see some products that I used. I used this wig shampoo that I got from Paula Young. That is very, very good. And then I also did a treatment um, on this piece that I've done on other pieces. And this is using the silicone, silicone mix bamboo hair treatment that puts um, like a silicone uh, in the hair and the fiber. You can also use this on your bio hair and it just is a great way to soften and um, restore the hair. So I used this, I believe on Becky and I just loved it. So I obviously wanted to use that again on Kelsey because she's a curly piece and I wanted to soften those fibers up. And then at the end, I used this Kenra Care Foam Wrap Set Lotion to kind of uh, tame the flyaways, make or give some uh, structure and definition to the curls. And I just love how she turned out. Um, you know, obviously all this is done wet. The products are put in wet. The silicone mix, you'll see that you put it in wet and then um, let it sit for a while and then rinse it out. This wrap set lotion uh, you leave in and I put a very little bit in there and you'll see how I did that. So hopefully this will be some great information for you. I think it looks great. The shine has been added back in. The fibers look softer and she's ready to go for summer. So um, also on my head today is Broadway by Main Attraction and I just took her out of the box this morning and played with her. Didn't tape it out of the box. I'm sorry about that because I wanted to uh, possibly wear this today. And she is a cutie. Another curly style. I have uh, sprayed her down with some water. Um, some of my got to be glued uh, spray wax to kind of tame these bangs. They are kind of crazy. Um, I've already had to trim them up a bit. So we will see how that goes. And I kind of wanted to wear it up today. You know, at least kind of like up on the sides like that. I think I will. But this is a cutie, cutie piece. Again, something like my own bio hair. And I am just loving it. I love these curly pieces that kind of resemble my own hair. So um, hopefully this information was helpful to you. And like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, watch me wash a wig. Take care. Bye-bye. So we're going to be washing a wig here, and this is Kelsey looking pretty nappy and tangly. This is my wash bin and the silicone bamboo mix that I'm going to be using on the piece to help restore the fibers and add some softness back to the fibers. This is the wig shampoo that I'm going to be using um, from Paula Young. And we're just going to fill the wash bin up with some cool to lukewarm water, putting some shampoo in there and um, sloshing the water around there to get some suds going. And we're going to be putting the wig piece in there, gently submerging it in the water and the suds. You do not want to agitate the piece in the water. It can lead to uh, a lot of tangling of the fibers. And so we'll just let that sit for about 15 minutes, kind of come back in and move it around a bit. Again, we'll... 
squeeze some of the water out of it. You don't want to wring your pieces because it will lead to damaging the fibers and tangling. And so then we'll put it over here on a microfiber towel. I use this on my own bio hair. And we're just going to kind of pat and wrap the piece in it. And we're going to transfer it to my office where I have a plastic floor mat. And this helps with um, not getting the water all over the carpet, obviously. And is a great place to do some wig washing. So we're going to put, while the piece is still wet, we're going to put some of the silicone mix into the fibers and distribute it through the fibers, avoiding the actual wig cap and the wefting. Kind of hard to do with one hand here, but you can kind of get the picture. Working that through the fibers to help with detangling. This really has some good slip, uh, so you can use it to really detangle a wig piece. And I also use it to reconstruct the curls. And you'll see as I go along here that I am uh, twirling those curls around my finger with the silicone mix on it as well. And it just helps to reform those curls and soften them up a bit. You also want to focus on the ends where those fibers are drier. Again, kind of hard to do this with one hand. And I continue to twirl the fibers and the curl pattern around my finger just to reestablish those curls. And then after this, we're going to put it on my handy dandy foam roller, otherwise known as my wig stand, <laughs> and just helping to fluff up those fibers, rearrange the curls, and let that sit maybe for about uh, 15 minutes or so. I have let this set in the wig for um, overnight, and I'm not sure that I liked it that much. Um, it seemed to leave a heavier coating on the piece because it was able to dry too much, I think. And so now it's time to rinse it out. You can definitely see how much more styled and soft that piece looks. And we'll go ahead and put it in the wash bin again with some cool to lukewarm water. And this time I'm just going to rinse it out. There's no need to put it back into the shampoo because we do want that uh, silicone mix to kind of stay in there and keep those fibers soft. So we don't want to rinse it out and actually shampoo it out. Just a light rinse will do. And we'll let it sit for maybe, I don't know, three minutes or so. And we'll wring out the water, squeeze out the water again. Let it sit for a little bit. And we'll squeeze out the excess water and then we will put it over on the microfiber towel again. And wrap it up and just kind of squeeze out the rest of the water. 
And then we're back in my office, and now we're going to just pat the wig down to absorb some of the excess water. You never want to um, really rough up your wig pieces in a regular towel as it will again lead to damaging of the fibers and tangling. So you just always want to tap the excess water out of your pieces. And I'm just kind of fluffing it up here and you can definitely see how more vibrant those fibers look, much more moisturized. And I'm telling you what, the piece smells so good that uh, Paula Young shampoo and the silicone mix, it just makes the wig smell wonderful. And there I am putting it on my wig stand, aka foam roller. And just fluffing up the fibers because we're going to let this sit on this stand until it dries. Fluffing up the curls and maybe I'll go through here and um, scrunch out some of the extra water. Just scrunching to get those curls back in their shape. And then the final step, I'm going to be putting this foam wrap lotion on the piece as well, just a very little bit. And this will help to tame down some of the flyaways in these curly styles, as well as just uh, give some definition and hold to those curls. And so you don't want to put too much in because this is something that will stay in the wig. You won't be rinsing this off. And so you don't want too much in there because um, it does have a little bit of a hold and you don't want too much uh, uh, coating on your, on your wig pieces there. So just scrunching that in like you would a normal mousse in your own bio hair. And that is pretty much it. And you wait until she dries and you're good to go.